So today I had a little bit of time and I said, you know what, I want to, I'm going to route the top of the board, but I want to route it uh, so that it matches what exists on the board close enough at least. All right. So I said, well, let me try something kind of like what I did for the bottom of the board. Now the thing is the top of the board is where all the components are at. So I can't lay that on my scanner and scan it. So I need to take a picture of it. So I went ahead and I took my cell phone and I said, I'll, I'll just take a picture with this. It'll be a quick experiment, you know, uh, just to see if I can, if I can do it, you know, with the quality of picture that I'm going to get from my cell phone. And so it wasn't, you know, I didn't have an elaborate setup. I literally just, you know, turned on a filter to take a black and white picture and, you know, floated my cell phone over the board and took a picture. And this is what I got. It's not the greatest picture. I think it's good enough. There's enough detail. Um, because of, you know, the quality of the camera and that you're never really taking a picture of every single point on the board at the same time, there's going to be distortion, uh, particularly, you know, as you uh, move away from the center of the lens, right? And so, um, you know, there's some distortion here, 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 and there. But, you know, that sort of stuff you can adjust if you really, really wanted to. Right. But I said, well, let me work with this. So the first thing I decided to do was uh, go ahead and draw over the traces. So I opened it up in this program, which I like. I don't know if it's color paint or color paint, uh, but it's clone of paint. Right. And so I did things like, you know, just did this for an hour. You know. You know, I put on some music. You know, this is mindless work. Actually, you know, I copied one of these once I had it and I just kept pasting it over and over again. But, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and then I did that for an hour and I ended up with this. Okay, not too bad. There's a lot of detail there. All right. So then I decided, let me use GIMP, which I don't really know how to use all that well. I use for some things, but it's great for scaling images and it has uh, a lot of features. It's a very powerful program. But I found that you can do the following. So. If you go to tools, selection tools, and select by color, right? You can select this color, and anything that is that color is selected. Even cooler, I can invert my selection. Okay, I can go to, yeah, where is it select? So now everything that isn't that color is selected, and I can just simply hit delete on my keyboard here, and everything is gone. And this is much easier to import because there's less information, you know, to confuse uh, the program that KiCad uses to import uh, these sorts of pictures. Um, and now I just need to scale this image. Sorry. Okay, let's set this to uh, millimeters. And you can see that the two dimensions are locked right now. So whatever I do to this dimension, will be adjusted proportionally to, you know, here. So I know the width is 230 millimeters. So the height's 171. I think it's really 170, but you know, it's close enough. This doesn't have to be perfect. I don't really need to get the traces exactly where they were on the old board, just close enough to let me know where to go, you know? And by the way, I could have done this with an auto router as well, but I want to recreate this part of the board as well. I think it's worth the, the effort. So now that's scaled and I can just export this <clears throat> and I will call it just, uh, traces. Okay. Don't want to save that. And now we have an image where only the traces show up. Cool. Okay. Now we can open up KiCad. And here's the import tool. All right, I can load my bitmap. 
all right and it will be black and white so i'll click on black and white okay and now usually when you have an image you play with this threshold here and uh you know parts of it will appear and disappear but since we only have two colors uh after 50 or what is it after 32 it's pretty much identical so maybe i'll go 100 percent okay um, I want this to come out on the user layer Eco 2 or Echo 2, right? It's going to be a mod file, which is a footprint and in KaiKet, so I'll export that, okay? It will go here, and I had done this once before already, I think, right? There we go. But it didn't come out right. Okay. So now we can open up layout here and let's put the component in I hope this doesn't take a long time to load it has taken a while in the past okay that took way longer than I thought it would now that footprint should be here now there it is and I think that goes somewhere yeah yeah maybe it's a little off but you know whatever I think that's good enough and so now I can just I don't know let's do this here right so first thing I want to do is you know I can follow the trace but and I believe Okay, so this one goes there, so it's this guy, right? That means that comes, no, so maybe it's not that guy. <clears throat> maybe I can just move it up a little bit. It's this guy. Okay, so that guy there. So obviously I gotta offset this a little bit. Let's move this. Sometimes KiteCat is just a little bit too smart for its own good, and it confuses what it should be doing. And there we go. Do the same thing here. And I can adjust, you know, uh, or disable you know, the intelligence here when I'm routing. But for now, this is what I will be using. Now this is kind of slow, just because I want to make sure it comes out in the video. But as you can see, um, this is going to work. This is going to be very helpful. And let me turn on the other layer so you can see the two layers. So the top layer is the yellow. And the bottom is the green. And the actual trace is the top is red and the bottom is light green, highlighter green. Um, so you can see that, you know, even with a simple picture from my phone, I was able to produce something usable, you know, rather quickly. Now, it's, like I said earlier, it's going to be stretched, distorted, you know, near the corners. So you'll see things like this, but you're going to have a general idea of where to go. And, you know, you could adjust it, you know, when you want to work on that area of the board. So I think this was a very successful uh, test here. And I am quite happy with what I have so far. So that's it for now.